then over towards this, we're going to just change angles, this over for a fade. Sides, they're going to have to be quite proactive and taking space. And it's worth mentioning, you know, starting this out, I wouldn't be terribly surprised to see this sort of composition over on Koi, right? This is normal, but for Giants, starting on the defensive side, it does actually add a few question marks to me. Like, if you're on the attack and you decide not to run a Sentinel, sometimes you are playing the Lurk, maybe it's... Yeah, yeah so it's, yeah, I don't know, there's some weird stuff control. going on sometimes. Sure. Defensive side, though, there's going to be a lot of challenges there for them potentially to overcome as we go out throughout this game. A lot of gaps, but we've talked about Giants and how solid they've been at identifying those gaps and closing them down. Guess a new level of challenge playing it without the Sentinel. Yeah, I, I also think the other highlight there is actually to look at Shados. It was something mentioned by Ryan, but a lot of the games that well, the game that they won, he was the best player on the server by yeah. quite a lot. In, in fact, in this match, he was 27 and nine on Ascent. Do they win that? If not, or do they win it as convincingly? Probably not. He had four 3Ks in that game. Like that was basically just him putting his individual prowess on the line, him being a fantastic Sentinel and his lurks were impeccable. If that's something that they can isolate on the other side, it's gonna be a much, much tougher game. All the crowd's ready here in the Coliseum. Oh, we don't qualify for the playoffs. Let's two. see. It There's only one map. I, I don't... <laughs> like, I know I said this for the last game, but, like, a few more on the board. Giants were playing really well. But there was some okay choice. stuff from Koi, so... Start on the attack, and they're attacking Let's see how they look on this map before we talk about right anything crazy. Oh, my goodness. That's a ding. The smoke rhymes down to 13. Good... So straight up fast trap from Koi on their attack, and then we try and see a retake smoke off. It's going fast. Omen flash. That aggressor. Back on the jet. His the nade switching up to a isolated them and a mix they kind of missed their timing with it. Role. So that nade was actually oh, huge. Recon got duels, shot. But it's looking a little bit more troublesome already. Up and Ooh. over they go though. And the trades are going relatively well. The attack is holding oh my. on at least for now. And now Hoodie. <laughs> okay. Shadows did insane as well. Though. Trying to at least find one of them but completely blinded up and stuck in a corner. Yeah, Shadows did great here. I like this from Koi. I want to shout out Trex here. Right, honestly, this this Molly messed up everything. Right, they had a good... Well, Good retake where the flash goes in, there's a recon, um, there was something else that I can't remember now, but they missed their timing on all of it, right, because of the nade isolating them, just one person here, no one can go through on top of it, so the nade was just everything for, for me in this round, obviously, Shados, nice shots as well. But at the same time, there were some warning signs there that they would be wise to pay attention to, and I imagine they're dialed in. I think as well, this map, if I was going to sort of select players in the Okay, in terms of this, we've just got one Sheriff, how are they handling that? attack the, the by we've got a rifle rifle and then fine. two okay so they're heavy prioritizing just making sure they win this round not too much for in terms of the bonus the they do have some rifles but it's not as heavy as the other teams it's kind of like an fpx just with an extra um spectre while playing a sentinel i don't think he's the best do i prefer sover or fade on this map i love sover on this map so i think the roles big fan of sover on this map oh nice from giants at the moment good stack okay ultimately although they're running don't have the guns for this one, but will have played against multiple times in the past. Yeah, they don't. Run, yeah, if they kind of let them in, they have some numbers in. in the past, so that has been done for a long, long time. Yeah, it's old school. Might be out of practice, but certainly pick that back up pretty quickly. Giants, lots of pistols, lots of players. Yeah, this gets dangerous nicely with the done. On this side, and they are coming ahead in a lot of these fights. It's left out. Damn, to nicely done. Good call from Giants. Nicely done from Ryan. The whole team waiting for them. And yes, Trax decides to It's a lot of guns against this. It's still a huge a a uh, 1v2. There. I see how quick Hoodie is. The thing is, a weapon retrieved for Fatino. A chance for Hoodie. Listen to those steps. I'm not sure if either. Oh, oh yeah, he definitely now, has certainly now. Hoodie has an idea of where he's coming from. Um, nicely done. Good early rotate from Hoodie as well. Sick run. Sick calling. Good read into what was going on. I said the pistol was important very, very nice. Build I also like the Giants didn't overplay their hand, right? I see when teams drain. stack a lot see, like I, this, I, I often, sometimes they use too much Those util. Rounds, they, like, no waited for them to get out. Then they use their util. Then they kind of crunched on them. It was nice. They only put this in, and then when they came out, they reconned and then hit. Right, it was nice. Basically, just walking face first into it. We're going into a Logitech G power up round, and well, I, I'm seeing Starzo with the best buy on the team. Yeah, with a very nice calling. We're done to yeah. rhyme again, <laughs> and, and it see. also just it was just Solid nice. Everything was good. In here. Yeah, good old coin. Wow, back to their old tricks. You lose that second round, and I, I got to tell you, Flash. from this point forward, they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna be desperate. To have some clutches, have some big plays, get themselves back okay, into it. Okay, we've got one, that last map. one spectrum to this, three, three sheriffs. Let's see what damage they can do. It's a good chance for Giants to get a lot of money in terms of this as well, because they save these guns. 
they can get the op out really early, so that's just a huge this is a round, isn't it? Where you just hope they make a mistake and give you some picks. Yeah, it's like Shade <laughs> is close to getting a lockdown. That's about all I've got. There's a lot of pressure over towards middle, okay, trying to make him 2 1 2 <laughs> in terms <laughs> of the setup. But we're actually just going for uh, basically a 2, but with someone watching middle here, so still heavy over towards A. I mean, that is unless you find a killer too. If you find those openings, sure, uh, we can talk about Recon it. goes in towards B main, hits nothing as well, so they're going to feel very confident to have all three here. Advantage they have with the weaponry. So they've got multiple players just sat up top left. waiting to play those range tools. Like, this is a, a good High, lower read on setup. the scenario. It does give quite a lot of space, but ultimately that's fine when you have this sort of weapon. Weird killjoy talk going on in the middle now as well. See, okay, nice hand like, from everyone. I like this from Giants. They're leaning a lot towards A. I don't know how much Koi favor going over towards A, but when they're having to guess and they lose mid control, instead of doing like a standard two on two, they're very happy for this person in spawn to just be watching this. So still just like a two three, even though they lose mid control. They have got an operator to fight off against, though. Vitinho already got that out. Vitinho. I listen. I I got some messages. Okay. I'm trying. Fatinho. So this isn't Gold like lament. gets this the AWP out, drops the lament. rifle to no, someone okay. else. Uh, my bad, so yeah, this is uh, <laughs> my bad. Have a good chance since this one. It's kind of scary. Brief, we're fine. All right now. It's a lot. Yourself. It's a lot of money Four to have on your Roll fourth round. Giants, nice and like a lot Give of money. Some spots around middle, some operator duels. So it's a good thing that smoke goes up, or maybe losing a few players on that attack. For Koi, this is such an important round. Oh, you got so much information already. The knife doesn't do too much. It stops the drone from getting any more, but he'd already seen more than enough. A very passive hold at the moment. New kick. Been feeling confident. Okay, with that ult and the flash as well, they're going to go over towards this, so let's see what these two can do in middle. Anyway. Lockdown available if they'd like to use it. Hoodie's going to just try and slow them a little bit. Cloud oh, it's a good. Oh, there track. is a gap oh, at the back. Sight. Never mind. He's oh, they want to fight. And yet he's still finding damage, managing to yeah, gap in the back. Of players. And can he get into the corner? Yes, he can. So they're going to know he's here. Full information available, but they haven't really taken the space desired at least. Yeah, the weird all over towards spawn. Oh, Nuke was watching it. Nuke was watching it and then fell back. Can this guy back side get any? Okay, Fatinho 58 HP. Pretty unlikely. That's just faded as well. He got a kill in the meantime, but we'll have to see him grab one more before that's back online. Could set him up nicely for that final duel. But isolating these fights should be very, very difficult. They want to group together, make sure they're not giving that off a chance to reload and go again. It came close. Might be tempted to save this. enough. Cloud burst down nope, to the okay. sheriff. These players aren't even low. I mean, this has to be two headshots dealt with incredible precision. And as that timer ticks away ever further, I think he's making the realization this one isn't going to happen. Koi, the wall comp. They hard <laughs> yeah, for it, put a sage in there as well. That round. The okay, nice save is, from him. Giants have loads of money. Koi. Honestly, still a two. It's a, it's a good start, even though they got you hurt. But they managed to dodge it. And for Vitinho, it's not worth it. He doesn't want to just throw away an operator for a single kill. On 58 HP. Yeah. Really good recovery, though, from Coldementa. Like, that backstab basically changed the round. Because up until that point, like, Cloud did an incredible job alongside Hoodie to delay. Like, they had the snake bites down in main, and then he managed to cut off that sort of rotation back through mid. It was just that flank that made the difference. Getting no, yeah, and that's uh... in from behind. It's and like a good, it it's a good close. understanding of the comp from Koi. They saved the operator, yes, right, you know, the you know that they don't have a killjoy. We know that we can go over, start doing this stuff over towards A, start doing this stuff over towards B. Right, so we'll see how often they try and lurk. Players coming towards this angle. You expect they'll have some utility to fire over, though, to pull them off. Next, well, well, listen, it, it okay, so be, what was happening is he was in his prowler mode and he's trying to bend it around the corner, but they walk backwards into the angle. So, you yeah, know, not that optimal looks. for those of you at home. Uh, don't walk into the op like that or you'll end up in a 5v4. This is a really didn't, look <laughs> didn't look great. It didn't look great. He basically just tries to make them force an angle and they're going to be wary that he's just peeking off the other side. It, it's it's not something you're gonna, I've seen too commonly. Like a lot Drone of goes over over to middle, clears all of this out as well. So even though there's been some pressure and middle, they clear it out, and they're still so happy to do two three. Definitely a bit more common. Interesting. Two I on like two now. Idea. Okay, 
caught throwing a smoke there as well. Actually, he's not really able to do too much, but the paranoia went out on time for Ryan. Wow, the flash. He's good. Picking that up a kill, slowing the push, and his teammates coming in to help. He's helping them out. Gorgeous stuff. And Giants with another successful Nikki did so hold. good, yeah. The blitz attempted by Koi just didn't seem to put the pressure A looks on expected. lockdown. A and really looks yeah, on lockdown. was great. When they dashed in, Ryan was literally ridding himself of, of the smoke. He was Their utils good. So they Their utils really, really good no at the moment. Back, but they got double flashes here as well. On his feet. They are heavy stacking. There's always the jet here close as well. Again, heavy priority in terms of over towards A. Rather, but to save. They're also just giving them nothing. Like, that's the thing. A lot of the time when it came down to what Shados was able to do, it was like a lot of luck. <laughs> yeah, they wanted to go for the luck again, right? They really wanted them to plant and kind of luck again. Same thing that we saw last round, but obviously they need to get into sight. They have, once they get an opener, they don't really do too much more. They, they play off the back of the fact that they have those double initiators to be able to give them that extra little bit of information. So three to two now in their favor. And also, they just seem confident in their actual sight holds. Like they haven't been really varying up too much what they've been doing. A lot of it has just been one player above the bulk, one below, and that's all they've sort of done, just having those crossfires and having a bit of a switch up of maybe a player coming in through short a couple of times. Nice one way. Oh, they have the good lineup that goes a little bit higher. I do wonder in this they round, got the though, good lineup, some little pixel one. You know, they've got rifles. If some ultimates very close to being online, some online. Shadows, shadows. Some shadows. I wonder how much that's going to do with the classic. There's certainly some opportunities. I just, uh, again, it comes down to needing a pick. And Giants have been so good so. at taking those off the table in the early round low buy have a disadvantage they just don't give a lot of a control here or at least early a information they seem to be in a bit of trouble but he's out this could work well again when you play against when you're playing against no servers i really do recommend playing like anywhere within this box you can have a great time fade can wreck you a little bit but every single time it will be this eye so it's not too bad still playing with these extra weapons or being retrieved on one side now the Viper screen also has been... Okay, good pressure from them. They put one over towards here. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, that's the first time we've sort of seen him win one of those. Yeah, Nikki should have done better there. Hoodie replies though with that push over towards B solo. And then we are going back into this. Rhyme does have two smokes. So shot's going to go in. Smoke will come out. They know where Fatinho is. Okay, well, none of that. Wolf and gone in the blink of an eye, but... 3v3 and a real possibility here. It's the HP on Cold Amanda, though. He's down to 20 HP. He also doesn't have a gun. Oh, he's making his way into the smoke right now, trying to retrieve a gun on the side. He's made it over to his teammates. We could have a chance here with them grouped up now. An opportunity for Koi to fight it's together so to hold low. this map control in the crossfires. The first man up. To I the love how they're retaking the site every single time the person jumps on Jenny. <gasps> oh my, 2 HP. Two Three HP just managed to clutch this out. Damn, they, the board. <laughs> they really needed this one as well. Okay, nice from them. Low buy. Three, three guns into this though. So. All three of his final opponents made it look. I wouldn't say easy. No, I did definitely. But he made did it look good. Def Hey, look at this. He got the first okay, guy up top. These good first headshot. two. Yep. Now, now now close your eyes. The clip, close your eyes. The clip. There you the go. Clip. Damn. Um, I am enjoying uh, the pathing on the retake though. Right first person point. always goes on top of Jenny. It's getting them. Two of their players didn't it's have getting them a good amount. So the fact that they get out with yeah, a victory there. Yeah, that was huge round by him. Money's still uh, great. No, Again, both of these teams are doing high, like half armor, so light armor. So kind of haven't needed many ecos. Also giving them a little bit of a worry in the back of their mind when they do go to peak this, even though it's new. Two HP, yeah. It could be a scope. And that's why they send Trex out first with the spike. Interesting. Uh, well, they haven't been punished for it, at least. Early mid control still mad heavy priority over A. I don't know what the side hits were like from Koi the games before, but they must have really liked A. I guess he gets the information one way or another, and again, we're seeing... Either that or they feel very confident with their retakes. I love also the orb. It just makes all of these fights so ridiculously awkward, and in the meantime, UK wow. has come back through mid. Found a double open and the flash doesn't even Oh my god, that spike as well. Spike on the deck as well. There's the even smoked at the beginning. The I didn't fully see this. We're checking the replay, but either way, back. he's absolutely owned them with this duel. The they lined up. Haven't cleared sight. They, they don't know whether there's players there oh, waiting for them. They no. assume there are, and as they attempt to get Trex back up, he's eventually dropped by the flurry of bullets coming his way. Flash around. 
Nuki is not going to even peek on it. He is just keeping left. them back, keeping them worried, and costing them as much time as he possibly can as they go. He's done it. He's done enough though, for sure. Uh oh. Uh oh. What are we doing though? This is starting to fall apart. Yeah. What are we doing? Did they have the read on those early rotations? Do they know how many are here on B? As they make their way in, they're still yeah, two on the cloud. backside, but up close. Cloud hadn't been spotted. There's the Again, double swing them. to close. Got a little bit well, worrying. Maybe uh, maybe Rhyme. It did get a little bit shaky. Needed to relax on that one. Five v two at that point. Sick from Nuka, let's see if there was a smoke yeah, here or, or like if it was just a straight up duel. Into that Viper setup, they're, just, they're just getting stalled. Yeah, and that's yeah. all it really takes. I, I think that the stalling that's there from Hoodie is enough that they just have this oversight of like, okay, well, we're oh, having boy. to wait for this poison orb. Well, there's, def there's they definitely no smoke there. The wranglers that they're open. <laughs> and just, again, Holy we hell. see it from Nuke. Okay. It's a bit of a disrespectful peak, but it's one that they're just completely open to. Round eight. Knives going in, in terms of this, they are back on a low buy, but they managed to win their low buy last time, but less guns than that, they have this, they have um, Jet or Recon goes in, everyone's hiding from it, they might feel like someone's facing after that. A lot of pressure over towards A, I don't know how many got hit by the knife, but yeah, these two are going to take a timing because they avoided the, the, uh, the original Recon. Hoodie is isolated here, doesn't have any support. Rotation will come back through from crowd, Cloud even. And he does have himself a Hunter's Fury if they were to need it. He's going to be droning mid. <laughs> Activate his angel mode. Damn. I went up and over into B main. Interesting to see Hoodie burn one of those. I, I don't think it was used even in the entry. This one has been, certainly. There's a recon. With that eye, they might have felt like it cleared lane. To main. And with that updraft. Okay, it's at least a good amount of pressure here, and so much so that it managed to get the rotate out. So three people mid still a question mark. This rotate over towards A is actually going to look pretty good. The, the difference is guns, right? So let's see what you can uh, rhyme can do. Oh, nice so well. as well, which could do a serious amount of damage. A lot of this will come down to Rhyme, however, and he's already dropped the spike on the deck. Yeah, the KO was great. Look at him dancing around as well. No knives left on Wolfen. I don't think, or maybe he's down to one. He's down to none for sure now. It's a lot of side shots going in, but nicely done from Giants. Cool ults from them. Nicely handled. I wonder if they only over-rotated because they had the Sova ult. I'm not entirely sure. But the control the Giants have over the rounds they win is powerful. Put some breach on this map. Uh, I mean, M80 make it look good. What we just saw in the previous map, I wouldn't feel terribly confident that they'll pull out a fantastic um, performance. But yeah, I, I just prefer info agents on this map, uh, to be honest with you. Yep. It's the round where Cold Amenta got a flank and caught three players. I still think it's the worst and out of the all of the initiators on this map, apart from <laughs> so maybe Kako. It's, it's not, none of them have been particularly clean. A lot of them, in fact, came off of Trex getting. What, a triple kill in one of those rounds? Oh, but he's definitely changed up his setup Early, here. Oh, they kind of wanted to take B main at the beginning of this as well, so they're going to have to change up their plan. We've got a turret over towards middle, getting a good amount of info over towards middle. This makes a lot of sense in terms of the setup, though, right? You viper all this. It's a good viper all. It takes a chunk a lot of damage going through here, so they're probably going to avoid it, so they wanted to try and have some kind of mid punish, because that's most likely where they're going to go after. It's a nice drone. You see two of them. Three players stacked up on this A site, ready to respond. How many times have we had three players over towards I don't A? I know what the response will be. Unless they've got some crazy line All goes in. Again, it doesn't cover heaven, so we'll have to see some util for this. A retake on A. Maybe not a retake. Look at those Give me the ult. Yeah, they, they need something in there. there. There should be a nano swarm or no. There you go. Oh. At least a bit of utility from Trax. That's exactly what you want to see. Clearing out the angle to an extent. It's still being fought for by this, UK, um, but he's This molly on heaven. A lot of players uh, this one was a little bit out to the side because of the ult, but I swear the KO Molly on Heaven is just doing so much. I feel like that's the reason that they win all these rounds on A. Does he have his smoke for the... Now they make their way forward. That flank, it's a big deal for them here. They just have to destroy the alarm bot and now... Koi are fully aware. They know where both of these final players are. Just have to win the fights. And when it comes down to it, they all oh. what was that? What the hell is going on? V2. The time here is so low, but so is the HP of Cold Amenta. It could go his way. A blind fire. <laughs> he hit well. the first shot, and then he was like, oh, man, I'm going for the flick. This is going to hit. <laughs> a few more rifles than it looked like. He thought he was feeling it. He just seems to be on fire right now. 
Yeah, that second shot was absolute filth, but no good work from that. I was terrified for a second that there wasn't going to be that fragment going through, but the yeah. second that hits, you just see how screwed the remaining players are from Giants. And, and that's the thing, I feel like that round, they almost forced them into that play, and yet still didn't necessarily seem particularly ready for it because of the only... All franchise teams are tier one, Val. Teams? Like some of the more mm, I don't know about that. Okay, we're gonna go the, flash. We're in terms of tier one and tier two, and it's... Well, personal preference now, of wherever you put honestly, teams. They're getting to a point where even though this it is, is personal preference wherever you put teams. For them, if they get five, six rounds, that's not a bad Just because you're in this league does not mean you're auto tier one. Please, I hope everyone knows that. Still anyone's game? Are you talking about terminology? Doing okay. Well, not to let them run away with this on the other side. Certainly putting up a better fight than the previous map. Expect that though when it comes <laughs> yeah. to their map pick. It's not that hard. Yeah. Look. But round to round, you know, they've had rounds that you can write home about now. They had you're in the tier one league. Good. I agree with that. This yeah, time, you're in the, the tier one league. But in terms of like teams that are actually tier one, if you're doing like a tier list, it's again, it's personal uh, preference. It's if you want to put them in tier one, sure. Again and again, but you're going to have to put a lot of other teams in there if you put in like K Corp and stuff in there. You're going to be putting a hell of a lot of other teams in there. Yeah, he's literally solo again. Util to deny. In fact, this time Warpen's actually just going to challenge it. And they're going yeah, no, to throw in the Nightfall to try and pressure, but Cloud just starts spamming. Denies him taking any of the space. There's no follow up. Cold Mentor eventually is going to make his way across. TP probably the... won't have hard, but it doesn't matter. That spike down in the corner. The KO knife again. was massive, right? It's they wanted to go. They did the, the smoke at the top, the like they wanted to jet dash in. And I think the knife hit and stopped He's everything. I didn't luck, fully check. Was it I didn't I need to watch it again. So so there was something that definitely just stopped them. The recon was great as well. Catches the first avenue that you're going to meet the wall. You get past that. Try to push out main. Second snake bite. This is really going back and forth. This one. He's already been tagged up by two walls. Why did the jet not go for it though? Easy kill with one bullet or was the first kill on the jet? You know, I should have uh, I should have paid more attention to this. Up with a recon passive. It, it doesn't go into main. They're not trying to check if they're there, grab info. He puts it somewhere that he they just got spammed instantly. Got that at game. Well, that's out, they have to fight. yeah. That they is what it is. Revealed. Player on site can probably trade you, and well, they didn't even get revealed. Every time they emerge from that smoke, instant. Yeah, no, that, that's completely fair. Uh, Reign of us. Those are the kind of rounds for giants where it does just feel like a shutdown. It feels mm. like. Koi have to fight for but their I, wins. Giants, they come in and they just take Yeah, them. I also, the other worry for me though is, is things because of the utility. I haven't seen much side, no kill joy really boost from Koi. Like, think about where Wolf and they kind of they the kind of won one round with it. To TP in, and then, then, he dies, and then everybody else the problem is they've been having such a rough time right, about getting this, onto yeah, exactly. sites. This is not, right, it's not really been about their after plants, it's more just getting onto the site itself. So that's why they've been going for it less. I think you see how they're creating their opportunities. Let's see what That's the choices nice. are this time. Wolfen already able to grab one, but the trade is quick and fast. It's going to leave him in a pretty tough position. Ryan, bailing out of there, though. The Shrouded Step keeping him alive. And, well, okay. Not not a terrible start to the round, but you have to consider there's a lot of weaknesses here for Koi. Yeah. They'll be happy with a one-to-one -one trade. A one-for-one, one, you take this down isn't too bad. It can be pretty hard to enter this site. See a lot of pings going in here. If they want to... Like, it's hard for them to get out this choke point. Cody puts his last molly down. I would be... I don't know. Instead, That's nice from Cold Amenta. They've TP'd past again. This has been heard, and instead, Hoodie is just happy to wait for the rest of the players to cross. They're just unable to clear this man easily. Finally, he's gone down. Do they even know Cloud is no. here? No. Oh, oh, damn, he really managed to get out early. Dude, to how did he get out with no one seeing it? Was it timing with the Viper? He's had one I'm not sure. Pulled off for the team. Either way, either way, Hoodie did really well. 7 5, let's see what Koi can do on their last buy. They did save for this one, so. Fought some Viper on ascent i think it's cool um i don't prefer it to a killjoy but i think there's some cool stuff you can do um I, there's some good walls right loud walls really cool um i don't massively like this wall i don't think this wall makes the most sense but uh, it's a different approach it's, it's good for splitting up it's a little bit like how um now when they Go for it this time, they pop a nano swarm early. They activate it. We, we've seen some teams do, do similar stuff with this wall. It is nice to segmenting it. Right, you, you cut it into three segments. So it's not too bad. And now when you go to site, you think, okay, our nano swarm. So yeah, it makes it a lot easier to hold over towards B. 
and he just blindsides your spike planter, wins the round for them. Uh, it's so many of these little details, and it's split-second decisions. Not something you can even think about in the moment. But they're making the right call Here time we go and time again. again. Oh, they've no got rid of his U2. No wall. This okay. is a problem. Now it becomes a little bit Three more people difficult. here, though. What time does the jet go in? Okay, in on site they have to kill two between. Know this man has been I don't know if they There's one. There's two. No. There's three. <laughs> Cloud is absolutely <laughs> owned. Oh my moment. goodness, he's actually that doing great. Like, he was Cloud. really good in the fast map as well. Just terrifying them on the B I mean, he's been really good this whole plan, to be fair to you, in terms of the split. Yeah. I'm gonna take a couple of ticks. Kind of been everywhere. And well, never mind. In the end, eight four, solid half from Giants. Considering pistol. Yeah, he's always been really, really good. We, we can't actually. We actually talked about this last week, right? Convincing, and that B site hold. It's almost perfect. You know, even not too you bad for, for Koi, man, but yeah, are, Giants were pretty impressive so here. That, that eco round. <laughs> really the set them up that, right that stack that round that they had over towards a really row, set them up especially their economy they never even had to worry about in. it after it's that like he, had, he, had a few rounds they, after where they went they light armor the and then just had full money you know, for the rest of this half util was great like cloud util on top of all his kills was so good some of the best valorant we've seen out of him in this series here unreal and in the get-go last map as well where he was it's not, not looking like it's salty. Not looking like it at the moment. We'll see. Oh my goodness. In the late round. Now we move into half two, and well, I guess the question on everyone's mind, and I think the answer is there as well. Is can Koi bounce Fibo, back? what you heard is probably true. Oh, he found his notes. Barbar, at least. He's got a lot of notes there. He's going to have to do some speed reading to catch up. Mm. It, it definitely is unusual to see a team basically run into the same Viper screen and orb setup like seven rounds and not yeah. be able to beat yeah. it like that that is peculiar <laughs> but it was just how much they actually switched within such minute different details now i want to see what's there on the other side because as said i think shados has proven that he can definitely play a very solid center uh, everything's in berlin i think that so my that. main worry though is the other side of things like a lot of what you're going to rely on is what wolfer can do with the more aggressive pushes with those sort of plays forward and he's having a rough time now obviously that can be expected it's whether Definitely he a lot of work has been going in to, <coughs> to Giants, but right? I, do have some confidence I like their it, approach it on this. I like their retake. The do you know what? I think I Giants think actually have some of the best retakes we've seen. And, you know, holding the title they've they've gone over a lot on, on a lot of these maps. Their retakes have always so, been yeah, pretty convincing. Him, but in this game here, Tom, do you think we've seen that, that Bulgarian pride? That number yeah, you could have a pretty pretty stacked roster. Second half. Defensive jet. Get him that operator. Give him an opportunity say, to shine. On the attack side, it can be hard to get your jet rolling. So yeah. once you're getting the space, that's all that matters. And sometimes that's not enough. <laughs> yeah, who else have we got with you? <laughs> who else Impressive have we got? From Giants, this whole series, and we had it from day one when we saw them play. We just said they feel different. They look like they're playing. I was gonna say, I can't think of anyone else. Size Valorant, which isn't something I've seen from this roster before. But that's the thing. I think the. Actually, that's true, yeah. That kid's not too bad. Two top teams and lost, and then you sort of start to have your doubts. You lose two games in a row. Even those, some of those games, especially versus Na'Vi, were incredibly close. Yep. A lot of expectations started to go down on this team. I think if they win this one... Right, chat. Only, what are we saying? Then it's back on. Well, remember, Any believers? Four's not too bad. Four and a pistol, you're back in it. You know, this is not a, a walk in the park for the majority of teams in this league, but Giants have made it look easy so far. This is Koi's map pick. Go for the normal middle wall. Two. And again, I like Giants this middle wall a lot. Cuts off short, cuts off the alarm bot if it's over towards middle, means that you have to put it in front of this, means it's easy to spam potentially. Straight up B hit, but they were so fine with this. They were pretty much ready for this. They wanted some mid chat. I've seen three mid crunches today in terms of pistols. Everyone wants to do a mid crunch on pistol. They've just gone after plump for free. Such a terrifying prospect, but getting okay, a good amazing. amount of map control with okay, this as well. Starting to see that it works because you take so much space that you can get fast flanks on them. Uh, Interesting decision to take up market, and we have a good crossfire. Oh, 
but he's hitting oh. all the headshots one after another. Oh, that was incredible. They didn't even need the crossfire. He's actually just one tapped them all. Just seconds away from meeting his end. There oh, is. man. Oh, to deal the final blow. Any bit of uh, belief. Of half two he's just completely wrecked him with it. I don't know if Damn. Boy, you're gonna it was sick. 13 to 4, 13 to 7, 12 to 5. Uh, I feel like the Giants editors are laughing right now because that's perfect for this, some sort of yeah, like, montage transition. For a transition. little oh, yeah. uh, dung, sync dung, this dung, up. And then it just transitions into something else. This was just Two. gorgeous. Fatinio, oh. the crosshair placement could have been better. The read on oh, it was so were, nice. Like, oh my god, ah, the man's on fire right now. 13 and 4. Like, we've been hyping up. I tell you what, though, chat, you know, this the push ball. that they did, Giants did sick like going round, double, here, round, double here, double here, and double here, and double here, and just having the crossfire once they go in. Um, it was. It was a Giants nice reaction. Over, sorry. The um, it was, sorry, it was this. Yeah. They managed to come out ahead. They actually had less. It was yeah, pretty they cool. Invested less in so round. this is not a round that's over and done with, and Koi already opened it up with a Wait, what did Rhyme do? <laughs> I didn't see it. No now for what did he do? Did he just swing middle? Going into that second round, that, well, that man believes he's he TP'd onto the top the box. But chat, tell me someone was behind him at least. Cloud burst used to cross over, but Shado oh still lands a kill. And now, well, a few more than he was expecting, perhaps there. No Pino one. Realizes oh. it's not going to be the fight that he wants to take, but stars are around <laughs> the smoke. Oh, oh, okay. What's going on? Fatinho, 40 HP. This leaves Fatinho in trouble. He's slowly being pressured, wrapped on, and he's oh. not going to get anything with the Guardian. Oh, they boy. Well. To do exactly the same back. Yeah. We I mean, this happened in the, in the fast pistol. We get it back. Koya back maybe into didn't it. Focus, so I didn't focus enough on that Chatty didn't. I'm going to see a replay of it here. Yeah, he's not going <laughs> to have ready? anyone with him. Learn from your mistakes. That's all you got to do. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Giants, they got a few things to learn from that one. Thrifty by a okay. few well, think it's, yeah. But a great hold on the site. It has to be said, the damage that was done was... It was my bad anyway. I, I missed it. I think they'd be able to get away with nearly that much, and it's Starzo dancing around the smoke, staying alive as long as he did, made it easy for his teammates to. Rifle Mania, good chance for them to stack up some money, well, and I mean, two of them have like already, like, like the two that survived in this one, already have so much. Going for just an insta B, spams with the sheriffs, doesn't give them anything. Orbs going out for Tino now with his uh with his orb, so. We've got a hero yeah, into it. All the kills he's managed to get has now earned himself a blade storm. Smoke so down, Prowler goes out. They kind of clear this. Into the of Koi. They've come in heavy. Nice, uh, They've nice attacking wall though. The from the I like the attacking wall here. Again, it just kind of player, so means that you have to play something in this one, area. It's what allowed to. First of all, it blocks off this as well. It allows you to creep out into here, and then in terms of this, you have to constantly get information in front of this. So it means the Killjoy Utah has to get changed up a little bit. So, yeah, I like that. The B has been checked out by a Again, so just a loud, loud wall. In the other direction. They had a lot of cool stuff at lock-in. They put... I can't I can't get over how much work they must have put in. We've got a replay so for me to see the code thing? Okay, yeah, let me check out this. Unless we see anything crazy and that needs a replay, but... No, oh god. Scary we're right back into this Wait, how is <laughs> how is everyone eco in everyone? <laughs> oh, god. Just wants to see some normal rounds. What's going on? It seems oh, it's a nice recon again. cloud, of course. Board, might have to see this replay, classic. scum. Again, I might have Tom. to check that over this one. Oh, excuse the pun, but they're looking like a fish out of water right now. <laughs> they, 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 I, I don't know how Hoodie gets two kills there. The man yeah, is I want to see a replay they again. You can see what they got for us. With a double, and from then onwards, it's just a domino effect. A team are literally drowning, and well, I, I don't know what to expect. Any it's just insane. It's just every kill that happens there. I feel like they shouldn't have won it. No. The, especially the first kill for Hoodie. Never mind the second one when he sees it. Okay, we, fin <laughs> we finally <laughs> get... No, it's just another low... Wait, like, what's right, going on here? There, I mean, well, it's a force. Codamens is saving some. We've got a sheriff. Could he have not got anything weird? Weird buy from them. Okay, let's stick with it. Op comes out. Now, Wolfen's trying to take this one into his own hands. 
I feel like he's about to get a very nasty surprise. Oh, it's oh he's been oh. revealed. Oh, I, yeah. I think his teammate missed shooting the dart. <laughs> that aggression there, you know, four kills on the board. Uh, this could be I mean, this moment. Sure. Light up that scoreboard, get back so on it. What do you think of the air? They know that they have the op out. I, I, nice call from Giants. Not a fan of the Ares. I, 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 like, I like everything else in the game. I like all the wall banging guns, but I, I'm just not, I'm not there. I'm not there for it, I'll be honest. Uh -oh. Not enough ammo, doesn't do enough damage to me. Okay. Never works out for me when I go for these kind of plays. We'll see what Starzo has in store for us. Okay. It was a chance, but only a little bit of damage tickled oh, them up, and now they're how? up close. How's he alive? Already on him. Okay, there's one for the Ares at least, but oh, a whole nice lot more reposition. to deal with. Okay. <laughs> I was really hyped up for something. I thought it was going to be like a cool little crossfire. We were going to get some trades. I thought it was going to be like a go into like a two on two or a two on one or something. We saw nothing. They just went both for the trades. They literally just went both for the jewels. Sorry on site. Holy oh, hell. It, it landed right beside him. And still, 3v2. Cold and I wasn't and expecting that outcome, especially with the repositioning. I think he's just running away. Looking to try and just hold on to the gun. Trex. Seemingly yeah, looking like they're going to save this gun. I might quickly check out this. Uh, I feel like at this point, that's they're going to fully point. run away. I'm going to check out this Cold and Mentor kill. Just because I missed it. Yeah, we're so fine. We're not missing anything, chat, I promise. Going double here. I'm not going to play that much of a part. So just gonna try and hold on to that. <laughs> oh my god, it looks so dude, no one swung with him. That's so that's wild. That's wild for me. They weren't denied by the Aries. Okay, Cloud okay. Go down. Cloud a goes down with Spike. Said, it, it won't impact things too much. No, no, look, they're sitting very pretty on credits right now. Multiple players up and above 6,000 when they came out of that previous round. And after investments, they still have more. Love how we just blame Pris in all three leagues, yeah. With operators, and that's I mean, it's just always his fault. So. That's the At thing. At this point, you don't even oh, get to come into yeah, this MVP round. Right now. Open city, guys. Open city. Yeah, good calls from the start. You know, the thing is for Koi right now, it, it just feels almost impossible <laughs> to get back into this game. They need to look completely different right. in the coming rounds. And Here we go. They're starting it off with so many weaknesses, and they don't get the ability, like I was going to say, to, to beat Giants once and force them to an eco and steamroll around. going straight in. It's just a direct Dude, it's just Cold Amenta on his own. Is. He's under so much pressure. Oh, a great no. going through, but nobody able to actually do anything off the back God, of it. Giants look way better. What is going on here? I thought this would be a 50-50. They look to be the incredible in comparison. Instantly. There's at least a trade, but now a Viper's pit as well in the afterplant. Not something you have to play up against too often on Ascent. Can they find any sort of ground? This the reveal, at least with the drone. Gives them a moment up top. There's a drop down from Trex. That should have been heard, and it was. Cloud quick to deal with that. He's the one playing outside of the pit now. Inside, not a chance for Starzo. And Shados, he's picked up the operator. He's picked up a few bullets to the back as he tries to flee the site, save the op for the next round. And it looks like he'll be successful. Ooh. Just about in his endeavors, so long chasing. as he keeps forward. Oh, Rhyme, Rhyme seems to have a decent idea. I don't Still think he's got get a long there, way though. to go. The time, the spike should be. Yeah, there's Molly, sir. That'll buy him the final oh. couple of seconds. Oh. No, he'd have to make a mistake now. No, unless, no, he's, no. unless he's going to face it. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> China, they're trying to do their own replays. I at least made sure we were safe. <laughs> Thankfully not, but even still, Tom, seven in a row for Koi now. Yeah. They've got six in the series. I, I love the change of pace. Like, you've got a Viper's Pit, you go, okay, let's just barrel in. Really aggressive, catch them off guard. Because think about how Giants have been playing the rest of this half. It's been very controlled, patient, slowly taking mid, like, evaluating their situation and then executing. This time, run A. They just go straight it's in. It's a late and timeout. It looks like they need a miracle. We're going to have a very last ditch attempt. These, these have to be the most inspirational words ever stated by the likes of Koi. I'll tell you what, this is the moment where We've seen this before where it's a challenge. Uh, if, if, if they, they win from here, lift them up. if they win from here, I, I feel like they have to double his salary. Again, seven rounds in a <laughs> row. That's to hit overtime, not to win the map. 
From there, they need a win over time, and they need to push to the next see, map. See, it is feeling a little bit like that. So series, number, but we'll see. Teams will stabilize a bit. Yeah. It's not looking great. So teams should I, definitely I, I stabilize a bit. With him in the past where they did Chat, we could even do the K Corp oh, thing after yeah. this. Does anyone um think about it? Said, Does anyone know uh, if he, he said, the sideshow vod is like up? Does he also upload his vods, or are they just not there? We could go straight into it. It's pretty um. Really, it's pretty early. Seriously, please, seriously don't lose. Like, don't lose. You don't what do you reckon, what chat? You feeling it? Well, the challenge it's already up. I mean, really we could definitely so. do it. <laughs> Seven in a row. OT and map three. That's we'll just do the last map. Because tomorrow's we'll long, so I think instead of making... It, it will ensure that I can... Seems a lot more doable, but what the hell? <laughs> oh my god, what's going on? Dude, it started so fast. Okay, it's still a man advantage. It started so far. The gloves came off. They, they, they were looking to try and um, brute force that one. A very aggressive start. Yeah, I don't mind doing that. I'm actually down well. to do it. To I can go gym tomorrow. Sounds good. After taking Let's that do it. Oh, this is the old... I tell you what, I haven't seen this wall for ages. This is the old Fanatic wall that they used to do. They use this against us loads. Um, Iceland... 2021. It's nice. It's really good for taking... A main, like really good for taking a main control. You then block off door, and then obviously you can fight a little bit over towards heaven. Not too much else, and that is not great. Does the facility have a gym? No, but we have memberships for a gym that is like, I'm talking a minute walk away. It's really nice. They now know that all three players are there because the only one they didn't know about was the KO. So they, they one up, thank you so much, dude. One up, FPS, thank you for the gifted. Prime attempting to TP into the site. Gets the information at least, pinged up again, spam coming through from Trex, bear in mind he's low, a little bit risky but it seems to work out, baits them into the push, Ryan has managed to trade one back, again, still keeping this one relatively I mean there's close. a small window, still alive in this oh scenario. my goodness, what HP Star was that? 30 HP, oh that actually could have done, that, so far, but a three chat, I was worried, <laughs> I'm, I'm still a little bit worried, it but it's 3 HP, so, that's it. okay. That's fine. Seven chances down to six chances. That jewel in heaven, kind of. If that went the other way, I think it would have been done. It could have been done. No way they lose this. Because they built up that massive credit advantage, they are going to be buying again and again. You don't get to have two opening picks close around and say, well, now's the easy part. No, you just lock and load again. Keep I'm sorry, I didn't down. welcome in. One the up the FPS with the gifted. Eventually, Thank you for doing your first gifted, mate. I appreciate that. Did we get and enough? Chat, we did not get a, enough slug approves in. Come on, let's try it again. One up FPS with his first gifted sub. Appreciate it. Um, Ming, tracks. welcome into the slug club. Let's try Still again, chat. Much better. I'll get involved as well. A relatively passive stance as well from them. One up. Thank you so much for doing that, dude. have his operator anymore. That was one of their main avenues of being that little more aggressive. He does have the blade storm available, but you can see how patient giants are being. Obviously, for them not having a sentinel, they kind of have to play more of a default. Yeah. They they can't <laughs> necessarily be quite as aggressive. But as we saw before, they they can very happily throw in a fast round every once in a while. For now, though, just slowly taking map control. Slowly so uh, are they going to try and fake this round? With what's like the plan to fake this round with the again? It's going to give them a lot so of info. Both controllers found. And if you see both of these guys towards the A site, from the shadows already used previously, you're not expecting that this is going to be a fake. That this is no, a he wants to be at this fact, angle. Looking to fully commit. Nice position from Trex. He hasn't been spotted initially, but he'll be dropped. Not before he's done more than enough, though. A two versus four and spike on the ground. At this point for yeah. Giants, they have to rely on a Hail Mary. Well, he's still getting them info as well. He can just say to the rest of his teammates that well, there's no one on the site anymore. You can reclaim that control. And sure, he'll go it down, but it's it was a weird one. round. 20 seconds left. No real chance for Quite Giants great to get again, back into this one. Cloud. It was a weird round. Aware that there could be someone close, a crazy shot to clear him. No, oh no, not. doing so much damage. It comes down to the 1v1 TP across, it's down to New Guinea. Holy hell, <laughs> they're close still holding close. on. Oh my goodness, how are they almost winning these rounds that they just look like completely shut out from? Seven chances, down to five chances to close this out. Did use an ult into this as well, so a little bit, a little bit better. Yeah, I can't. Oh my 
so unfortunate if you're Giants, but hell, they got plenty more opportunities ahead of them. Yeah, way too close. 12 to 7, 5 in a row, and another timeout called. This is going to be the last one for yeah. Koi. One last chance to figure out what these next five rounds are going to look like. And then they're going to have to do it without their coach. No more words from Barbar. -Bar. Yeah, I, I think it might even just be a <laughs> challenge. Sort of calm Dude, I wonder down. why it does like that, that. That got way too close. Got very scrappy. Isn't this a super late timeout? They, they literally had one like um, up some of their economy as well. two rounds ago. They've been having to sort of force him with guardians and extra in terms of just not having those full rifles. So, um, so the other one was pretty late as well. Sure that everybody has the plan in mind, maybe juggling over what they're actually going to purchase into this round. And also, maybe oh, I think they gave it to him earlier. Because although, as you said, the economy is still going to be relatively decent for Giants, it is starting to get on the lower end now. Now, of course, with the amount of rounds, you're still going to have to face off a ridiculous amount of buys, but it might just be, okay, what can we do to finally shut this down, make things that little bit more awkward economically? And they're already kind of there. It looks like Giants might actually take the hit this round instead. 15 rounds total. To just away, but Let's it's see if that number gets any higher. Last round, you have your null command. It cancels out the utility that's been so consistent for Giants. Hello, Wolfen's out in mid, and he's gone. Oh Dealt with by boy. a sheriff of Nukia. And I mean, that's just a player dry swinging out bottom mid, spotting your op. That cannot happen. No. And not in a round like this, Tom, when you're already, like we said, Koi can barely afford to make a mistake, and the first one yeah, is very much made here He's in playing this playing round. The contact. Yeah, they do. Right. He's gonna try and just find the wall bang because it's beautiful. I love that setup. It's one of my That's favorite nice setups. Setup. It's gonna give them good info contact, as well. A free kill off the other side. Oh, Patino's hunting though. He just oh. wants to take him out. Wait, he had a rifle with no shields going into this round, this but he's just managed to find them an opener onto the side. The spike still They've isn't still there, so they still need to get their nice smoke over towards well. market. They can get over towards the site now. The they, they get onto site. To Is there a gun through. to pick up for Hoodie? Look at the spot from Hoodie yeah. as well. You gotta keep in mind, there's a rifle on the site. Like, he's gone to get it yeah. now, but he was they stood there for there, a second. Though. It was about containing the info. Now they've got their wall to keep They got one flash on KO. Ult's gonna be popped through. That's uh, an ambitious one. It's just for the information, uh, I guess. Right, right. Well spotted. Should know there's good. He a comes at one flash. Towards the back of the site. And they know there's one towards the stairs. Peaks before it was a bit of a team flash. This duel's important. Oh, yeah, nicely done. The kills, <laughs> nicely done like with the run and gun. The <laughs> what the hell was that? Yeah, slowly grinding things yeah they're getting the there. The closer this Seven gets, chances. The down to four now. Getting the up over towards middle as well. Many. Out in the arena right now, and probably the majority at home as well would have thought this was done. But they are slowly managing to climb back in here. This is the thing. I think it was meant to be one of the players watching from mid, but gets blinded yeah, and just flash, goes, yeah. I'll see you later, bro. Yeah, I said it was a dry <laughs> swing. I thought yeah, it the was, flash was actually the flash. pretty nice. So huh? At that point, you know, fair play. Even just getting the guy over on the arch to swing back to turn around for that. Jinx them because I started believing. Time to get the kill. It happens all the time. In a row needed. Odin, Odin. Oh. we got, like we we're close to KO, so one orb away. But with how close this is getting, they might be tempted to just try stack up and just have all the ults. Does this shock hit this? Looks like it will. Nice, observers are on it. If things do go that little bit closer and so this is a lot of mid pressure so and that knife clears everything this has been a nice round so far from giants get a lot of control a lot of pressure from this damn this is looking good they have the wall if they want to as well once they get on site following alongside him shados though has done well to open up has a little bit of someone shoot this dark oh nicely done from utility giving them a huge advantage in this round two players remain Rhyme could try and TP to the other side of the map, but they are not too far away, and he's going to give Hoodie the opportunity to try and find something here. Definitely feels like Koi are, are waiting for that play to come through at this point, but with Hoodie <laughs> on the site, you know... <laughs> the observer's like, come on, man. Think about it. It's a one peak. At this moment, they seem very much to be looking forward, looking into the B site to take that control away. At least they can play it together. Smoke back online. Where's Rhyme going to be deploying that? Thought, Were they the team that we saw do that last time, oh. where they pinged this pause? I like that more teams are doing it if it wasn't them last time. Sure about where Ryan has made it off to, and oh, hold on, he's going. Oh my he's God, who got another kill? It's a massive ruse, and Hoodie's just going to be stood here, trying to deal with these players, trying to cause a headache. Oh my God, okay, it's nice. Kill, oh, hold him a lot of time. Let's see, one v two. He's going to get close. Oh boy. 
to try and take that initial call. Oh, God. There's no utility <laughs> for them to play with either. He's going to hit all of the steps. Just look to try and wrap around behind them. Ring around the rosy as they are none the wiser. Having to try and check their backs. He's got the timing. Nigh on perfect. Gone out. Oh, and it's a little whippy, though. There's a real chance for him to end in there. But instead, oh. <laughs> Good to see him laughing about that one. Smiles. Yeah, you got you got to laugh that one off. Well played. You got to laugh that Just one off. Because otherwise you'll cry. End, but a Damn. Oh. Now. They were seven in a row needed. They were looking. He did everything perfect up until now then. Now it's down to just three. Much more manageable. Much more bite sized. This again shouldn't have been close though. It's a two v four where Hoodie manages to basically walk into a just an open site with multiple players on it and get two kills like. He sells the perfect. Oh yeah, I don't think he did. Like that's not a laugh. <laughs> For me, that's not a laugh. That's very much anger. Okay, <laughs> seven, seven chances down to three. What's their money like? Okay, it's still not bad. After this one, though, they're probably eco. Be spotted by the alarm bot. I think they moved it just because of the shock dust that were coming through. Closer, yeah. Three, three sack up on A for Koi. You know, much lighter presence on this A site. There's already a Viper wall. Two people the here. Kiljoy gets hit and by the all. Nothing. Oh, they're he popped them. For, oh, the dash in. He's already towards the laneway, but damaged quite heavily by that nano swarm out wide. But deep. All right. That'll do it. The player's coming oh, from every angle. 4v4 retake. Shados has his ult, so they need to try and make sure that they fight heavy here. They've talked about this already. That's why Nuke didn't go into a site, and that's why he's holding here. That's a massive kill. If they get the ult in this position, it's done. Damn, Hoodie's going for the... Hoodie's going for the hero play. Okay, so they didn't want to... Didn't want to use the ult here. Wanted to just use it to get out. They know they're going to be back at site. Massive jaw here. Wait. Yeah, Hoodie's in there. To the players on site, Fitino already down. I mean, they can just defuse, it's right. done. Nothing that can be done. Well, it's not done, but the run's done. And a good recuperation there from Koi, almost just patiently waiting for okay. that one ult to be put into play. Chat, it's getting kind of close. Really it's now. getting kind of close now. They have a, they don't have the best buy with this. They managed to get um, a plant down, so they managed to get a plant down and they saved the gun, so one of them's going to take it here. You know, this is realistically uh, seven chances to close this out now to goes to two. Now, a Viper's pit on Hoodie has been pivotal for this team. We've seen them adapt to a much faster pace to get into a site, pop that Viper's pit, it's, and um, control afterwards. I and they use some ults into this. A big risk Double ult into that one. But if they do get on a oh, is this the, um, is this the EG? Danger for Koi still Spam there. from short. They've done well to deal with that yeah, it is the EG. The Spam from short, they don't get anything from it. Great on a lot of Giants players. If they win this, they could be set up for that final round. Starso actually this time uses that Odin initially to try and kill someone off the wood screen. It's been a position fought for early by Cloud. But I think that was almost a counter, but this gives the read to Giants. So, okay, he's not here anymore. There's well, all fine. Opening on this side of the map. Trex, though, has done well to isolate these battles, and he's going to nice take kill. out Coutinho. Good all. Some extra that space. hits everyone. Ultimate used as well to leave these players deaf and oh blinded in the Wolfgang's wall. I don't know oh, okay, there was Nyx, they were hit by the Fatal. Shadows did insane. A double for him, 3v2 in shoes. Looking like they could bring this one back as now only Rhyme. Come <laughs> on, Rhyme again. again, redemption. Redemption. If he gets a kill, he gets all. So they need to stick together. But it would be too helpful then. Wants to grab himself a kill. And seized up. Well, that's a problem. Luckily, they haven't spotted it. They don't know that it connected. He could have repositioned. And that shrouded step that he popped out earlier might be left. the fake info that he needs to win this. But he doesn't know where they are, and look, they're holding it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, holy hell, seven chances. Down to the last one chance. What ults do they have? Potentially three if they get this orb. They might just be going to OT. But that, that's the thing, it, it's been such a weird half that I feel like there's been so many opportunities for Giants to close this that I still don't really believe that we're here. Like, it doesn't <laughs> feel like in my heart of hearts we're about Shrimp. to hit overtime <laughs> before we win this next round. What's going on? But that's that's the place that we're at. It's been an absurd comeback from them on their defense, clutch after clutch, big round after big round, and although they've almost let some of them slip, they've always come back into their favor. Early utility being expended in towards that A site, but 
Look at the rotate. The rest now looking to try and pick up yeah, they got three people here, one person. Close. Not really going to garner too much. And that space has been taken. A huge kill from Nuke early on. And this comes down to the Viper's pin. Oh, it's going to be used passive. It's not even on the side. Locking down short control. control but oh, oh okay. Ryan's Damn, the, the fake double. comeback. And it's one man left. Seven. With an Odin in his hand. <laughs> they, they baited us in and just closed it out at the end. Pit blocking off his route through short. Everything against him. And look, it's going to be Hoodie to close it out with a stinger. And I'll bet that does stink. Coy, they fought all the way back. They pulled themselves Damn. out of the depths of despair in this time. But in the end, it wasn't enough. They brought them close. They gave them a taste. Of an overtime, and they snatched it away, 13 to 11, and two to zero. Giants looking like one of the stronger teams in here again. Remember, now yeah, they could have. Uh, the they had to play easy games. I mean, they're ahead of them from this. <laughs> gonna close this one out. Fast than that. Yeah, those those first two were easy. These are the hard ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, another two now. They play KC. They're in trouble. But that's the thing. I, I think the other thing as well. I think it was Sue who brought it. Yeah, it, it feels like a lot's gonna come down to the. If anybody's gonna expose like your the last flaws, two games, it's gonna be Fnatic and Navi. That's where you call it. Everyone's the beating most. everyone. And you see them coming in a Lotus comp, which well. I think was incredibly <laughs> exciting to watch. They had a lot of very cool ideas. And coming into this map as well, I have to say, Cloud and Hoodie. Unbelievable. Like, I absolutely love that. Now for the main so event. It, it okay, well, chat, what we'll do, I think just we're still going to stick around for the interview. We're going to go adverts, we're going to go interview, then we'll check out the side show. Thing. We'll just, we'll just watch the last map. We'll really see cool how angry ideas. he gets. There's a lot of a there's a lot of stuff that he um, <laughs> that he could be getting angry about. We'll watch that. Still, a lot to show for Koi at times, but they definitely struggled on their the first map. and. Unfortunately, just seemed to show up a little bit too late in this one. I think it all 